all right guys thank you for tuning in to another video on the channel as you can see right here we're running a speed test on the iphone 13 pro max so we can see that it gets over four gigabytes this millimeter wave node so as you can see some ping 4.5 jitter 4021 down and about 115 on the upload. We'll do another speed test real quick just to make sure. We'll keep it pretty solid, 7P, 1.3 jitter. Okay, so we can say that this node is a, over a four gig node. So 4016. by 55.7 on the upload. All right, so now here's the pixel. All right, so it is on the latest security update. Oh, spoiler alert. Um, let's see here. Just to show you guys, system, system update, it's on the January 5th, all right? Now let's speed test the pixel. Okay, so eight ping, six jitter. So there you guys go. It actually unlocked it. So now you're able to go over the two gig limit on it. But I mean, the speeds are better than what they were, but is it faster on millimeter wave? Mm, not really like it's close which is better I can say it improved but I wouldn't say that this phone tops up the iPhone or the Galaxy I say the fold out of an Android the fold and the, and the Surface Pro Duo 2 you know they have a better millimeter wave performance and the flip versus this so but this is a lot better than what it was I'll get I'll give it I'll give it the credit where it's due but I don't know I mean it has it's, it still has the hic its hiccups the update did take about what was it about an hour which is ridiculous because uh, no other Android takes an hour to update just a security patch that's 215 megabytes so the how do you call it the tensor chip is very sour to desire let's put it that way compared to like a galaxy and i'm you guys know i'm not that uh, i'm not that big of a fan on a galaxy but i would rather rock a galaxy look, look at this is the performance of qualcomm versus exynos and this is why I think that I'm glad that Verizon did not choose to go with the Exynos with the AMD. I'm kind of glad that they kind of kicked it and went with the Qualcomm for the S22 Ultra. Thank God. And now we would be seeing the same disaster as in the Pixel. But this shows you right here the differences in millimeter wave performance on the phones. So we'll do one more speed test and then there you guys go. You guys see that it did unlock it. Don't get me wrong, it's good. It's better than what it was, but it still has more to desire. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh shit, man. Well, 10 ping, one jitter. There you go, 322. Is it, is it connected still to millimeter wave? Jesus. Yeah, yep, 28 gigahertz. Yes, sir. Well, there you go. 322 by 121. All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Appreciate y'all. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.